Well, welcome, Coach, to the uh, Pinnacle Bank Championship and our uh, teammates charity as the beneficiary. How did you and Nancy ever decide to do teammates? We just decided that uh, we try to do something with our players for for young people, and uh, so we had 22 players who volunteered to uh, be matched with 22 seventh and eighth grade boys in Lincoln. And as time went on, uh, 21 of those 22 graduated on time, and 18 went on to college. And we thought, well, maybe there's something to this. And so we expanded the program. So today we're mentoring about almost 9,000 kids in about 61, uh, 161 school districts. So it has grown. And I really want to thank you and Pinnacle Bank for uh, bringing professional golf back to Omaha. It's a great event and, um, and it's a great partnership. Yeah, it is. We, we're excited about the Pinnacle Bank Championship and this is year two and I think there's a new momentum because last year being the first year, new venue, um, new experience for a lot of golfers and golf fans. Nobody was certain what was going to happen, but I think you can feel, Coach, as you've been here just a, an hour or so, there's a lot of momentum with this thing. Well, I, I noticed the parking lot is a lot fuller than last year, <laughs> partly because the weather's better. Right. But as you say, anytime you have a, a little more experience with a tournament, it's going to grow. And so it looks like it's really uh, doing well this year. You bet. So what challenges do you have with teammates? Is it is it getting mentors? Is it a budget issue? All the above. What's your challenge with teammates? Because I know you've, you've grown from that 20-some to hundreds now. Well, we, we always uh, said have about a, a third more young people who would like a mentor than we have mentors. So probably number one is, is just recruiting more mentors. And most of our mentors will say that they get as much or more out of it than the mentee. And then, of course, there's always funding issues as you grow and as you expand. Sure. Teammates uh, cost about one-third of what the average mentoring program uh, costs in the United States, so it's relatively inexpensive and it is very effective. And so we'd like to have more people get involved. <clears throat> and um, so you just sign up by teammates.org yeah. on the Internet. Very simple. We match you with somebody that has similar interests, similar similar life experience. We train you and uh, and uh, and we have somebody in, the, in each school building to make sure they have a good place for you to meet. And so it's a school-based program that, uh, that is very effective. We felt that teammates as a charity was just unbeatable because what would you rather spend your money on and your time than changing a young person's life, right? Yeah, if you can, uh, if you can put somebody on a little better course in their life, uh, you won't just affect one person because there will be a ripple effect. <clears throat> you will affect their family. You will affect the people they work with. And uh, usually uh, that trickles down through several generations. Sometimes you see a young person who goes the wrong direction and that ripple can be very negative for lots of people. And so putting somebody on the right track is very powerful. <clears throat> as far as I can tell, it's the best way that I know is to, uh, to change society is just one person at a time.